morning, everyone. My name is Eric Hart. I'm the Applications Manager here at Styles Machinery. This is day three of our live uh, broadcast to talk about some new technology. Today, yesterday, we spoke about uh, pod and rail versus, not really versus, but compared to nested base manufacturing. Today, we're going to look at a third way you can hold your parts in your machine, and that's mechanical clamping. Today, I'm going to use my drill tech here. It's my drill tech V200. It's a vertical drilling machine. I'm going to use it without vacuum at all to move my part through using a clamp. So if we come over and we take a look at how we're going to clamp this part in the machine, you can see right in here I have a mechanical clamp. And what the machine's going to do is I load the part into here, there's a reference pin back in the back that I'm going to bump my part against. And you can see as I load the part in, you can see that. I go against that reference pin and then I hit my pedal and my part is clamped. And then it moves through the machine. So I'm gonna run a part really quick and then what we'll do is we'll delve into the, the V200 a little bit and look inside because it's a big box and you're gonna see a part that's uh, got nothing on it go in and then a part come out ready for production. So I'll turn my machine on. Part goes in. I clamp it. I hit go. The first thing it's going to do is it's going to verify the part is the right size. So it uses little sensors on here to measure the part and make sure that what I told it it's going to be is the part size. So what the machine is doing now is moving the part through on the x-axis as my machining head back over here goes up and down on the y-axis and in and out in the z. So that's a little different than other machines. So we took the machine and basically stood it up. So x is the long direction. Y is up and down, and Z is in and out now. And so we're doing drilling and sawing on this end panel that we're creating here. So, at this point, the machine was in, dropped the part on the other side, and ready it, and you can put another part on there to get going. And then it can be machining. While I walk over, I take the part that's finished out. Now, I didn't run my dust collector today, a little louder. So I got a little dust on here, but typically your parts are going to come out perfectly clean. Now if I look on the machine, my power touch control, it's going to tell me that my... It took me 49 seconds to machine that end panel. Fully complete and ready to go. Okay, so the question is how to do it. Let's open the machine up and we'll look inside of the machine head. is I have on here uh, drill blocks. If I look into here, I can say I want to look at drill. And there's my drill block. And I'm going to say I want to look at that tool. I'll say set up tool. When it does that, you can see that the head is actually rising up inside the machine into a position for me to work on it. And it's good to look at it too. And it unlocks the door for me. It's a safety interlock on the door so the machine knows it's not running. So then here, what I have is I have a full vertical drilling machine with horizontal boring in all four directions, a grooving saw on the x-axis, and a router with a four position tool changer. So this machine has everything that my machine over here, and we come over here and look, my uh, this is that P110 here, the same head that I have on that machine, I have on this machine. I have a little bit larger tool changer over here, but it's smaller, but if you look, the big thing on this, on my Drilltech V200, it's a footprint, you can see. And also the, the noise, the machine is on and running right now. So we don't have the noise of a vacuum pump because we're using that mechanical clamping. So you can see the compact size of this machine can fit in almost any shop out there. So if you have any other questions, just post them down below and let us know what you want to see. We've got a whole showroom here. This is actually a side note, this is our education lab. This is Styles University. So yesterday we were in our main showroom. Today we're in our education lab. So. We have two different uh, buildings here at the Grand Rapids campus. We keep the education lab over here for training. When people come in for training, well, this is the machinery that we use. This is why I have almost the same machine next door, is this is an education machine. So we have all the most current technology here for education ready to go. So with that, put anything down below you want to see, and we'll look at that next week. We'll see you uh, on Monday at 11 o'clock uh, Central Time. Thank you.